In 1733, someone called Buffon asked, If you drop a needle onto a floor with equally spaced parallel lines, what is the probability it crosses a line? In the case where the distance between the lines is twice the length of the needle, this probability turns out to be 1 over pi. So if you drop a lot of needles, or in my case cocktail sticks, the total number dropped divided by the number which cross lines should be an approximation for pi. Right, so I dropped a total of 44 needles, and of those, 14 crossed the line, which gives an approximation for pi of 3.142857, and the actual value for pi is about 3.141592. That means our approximation is accurate to two decimal places. But why does this work? We need to consider two things. The distance of the centre of the match from the line D and the angle the match makes with the lines theta. If we want the match to cross the line, we want this distance here, to, which is half the length of the match, the match is length 1, so half times sine of theta and for that to cross the line we want that to be greater than d. If we consider all the possible values of d from 0 to 1 and all the possible values of theta from 0 to pi on 2 we want d to be less than half sine of theta. If you draw half sine theta on here, it's going to look something like that. We want d to be less than that, or in other words, anywhere under the curve. To find the probability of the needle crossing the line, you just want the area under the curve divided by the total area of all the possibilities work out the shaded region, we can just do an integral from 0 to pi on 2 and function is half sine theta, d theta and that's out of a total of base times height is 1 times pi on 2. Dividing by pi on 2 is the same as multiplying by 2 on pi. Factor a half out of that times the integral from 0 to pi on 2 of sine theta d theta. These cancel out, so you get 1 over pi times the integral of sine theta is minus cosine theta and it's going from 0 to pi on 2. Plug in pi on 2, cosine of pi on 2 is just 0 and then minus plug in 0, cosine of 0 is 1 so you have 0 minus minus 1 times by 1 over pi, minus 0 minus minus 1 is just 1, so you're left with 1 over pi. So the probability of a needle crossing a line is 1 over pi, which explains why, when we did the reciprocal of that, the total number of needles divided by the ones that cross the line, we get an approximation for pi. As a little bonus, I wrote a program which randomly places needles and set it running for a bit. Turns out you need hundreds of thousands of needles to get any sort of accuracy consistently. Half a million throws and we only get four decimal places and even then it likes to wander off sometimes.